This is Darren McCulley with Professional Control Corporation, and today I'm going to tell you about a neat new device called the Siemens Smart Access Module. The Smart Access Module creates a hotspot to allow you to connect your laptop or mobile device to the V20 drive to parameterize or troubleshoot the drive. To use the Smart Access Module, your drive must be firmware version 3.92 or later and hardware version FS09 or later. The Smart Access Module works with HTML5 compatible web browsers. And to use it, you plug it onto the front of your V20 drive, then turn the power on, and then when it boots up, there'll be a solid orange light. Then you can go to your laptop or web or mobile device and connect to the V20 Smart Access Module hotspot. You do connect. It's going to ask for a password. The default password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. When you enter that, then you go to the web page for the Smart Access Module, which is 192.168.1.1, and then it'll ask you to change the password from the default. I've already done that, so my password I changed it to is 87654321. So we'll connect. The green, the light on the front of my Smart Access Module is turned solid green, indicating that I'm connected. So I'll go to the web page, 192.168.1.1. You'll see that I've got a little indicator saying inverter ready, the green light. And my menu is here. And we're going to start with quick commissioning. So yes, I want to commission the drive. So we can look at the parameters are here are what are going to be modified. During the quick commissioning, we're going to click on it to see what the choice is. And two, it's North America, North America kilowatt with 60 hertz rated. So that's what I want. Rated motor voltage, 230 volts. That's good. Motor current is 0.887. Collapse that. Oops. Collapse that. Oh, I'm clicking down too low. Rated motor power is 0.18 kW. Collapse that. Cosine fees 0.77 is correct. Efficiency is 85%. Uh, rated motor frequency is 60 hertz. Speed is 1350. RPM, and we're going to choose to do a identification of all the parameters, the motor parameters at a standstill. So that's going to go and make us be able to determine the um, stator and rotor resistances through this routine. So then we'll click next. This is the connection macro. So how we're going to control the drive? We're doing it through input terminals. So CNO2, next, we're going to do an application macro. So the application macro is a conveyor application. Next. And here's some common parameters that might be modified. We'll do the um, ramp up time for two seconds. Watch that. And the ramp down time for two seconds. Check it to make sure you download it. And that's it. So now we'll transfer the parameter set to the drive. So that's good. So you can look at parameters here. And this is a list of all the parameters in the drive. You can filter them by the motor or inverter parameters, the different choices. Like motor. Now it's just it's displaying the motor parameters. You can reset your drive to factory defaults or to user defaults. I don't want to do that. And you can save to the RAM to ROM or, or save it as new set of user defaults. So we're not going to do any of that right now. We notice we'll have an alarm right here. So we'll go to diagnostics. And you can see it comes up that a motor identification is active, which we set. So we know that's 
true. So we'll go to the jog and be able to control our drive and turn it on for the first time. So we'll get control of the drive. Okay. We want to do that motor identification routine. So we're going to be able to turn it on and keep it on. So turn into hand mode and turn the drive on. You can see it's sending out some current, but no speed doing this identification routine. Once we're done with the routine, the current will go to zero and this alarm will go away. And then we can run our drive if we like. It takes a minute or so, depending on the size of the drive and motor. So it's done, current went to zero and my alarm went away. So I can turn it off turn it back on and use my slider here for a speed, speed it up, slow it down, and you go in reverse, stop it. And then I can jog it if I put it in this jog mode, click on the jog and hold it down, let go and it stops. And I can give up control of the drive. And we go to monitoring to see the status of the drive. So we can like turn on the drive with the digital inputs that I have set up. I can speed up and slow down the drive with my analog input. And if I give it a fault by turning off the power to the drive real quick and back on, then I'm gonna create a fault situation, which I will do. You can see that this little indicator shows I have a fault. I can click on that indicator or I can go to diagnostics, see my faults. I get it under voltage, click on that. Uh, the cause main supply failed, check the supply voltage. I know that's true that that was the issue. So I can acknowledge my faults here. So the faults acknowledged, now I'm ready to run again. I can go to this next little page and I can see the status of my analog inputs. So I can dial it down, less voltage, zero to 10 signal, dial it all the way up, 10 volts. Um, I can also see the status of my digital inputs, digital outs. So digital input one, high to turn it on, two, high to go reverse. So we can monitor digital inputs and outputs and analog inputs and output that way. And then we have a status word. So we've got a green indicator here saying inverter is ready. Turn it on. Now we've got an indicator here. Green saying the inverter is running. We turn it off. Now just an inverter ready again. So that shows the different pages of the diagnostics. And lastly, we can back up and restore parameters. So if I want to say, call this the backup, I can click backup and it's going to back up the file set. I'm not going to wait for it to do it. And if I want to restore, I can go next and I can choose another set and restore that data set. I could use that to either restore this drive if it ever fails or to copy parameter sets to different drives by putting the smart access module on another drive and clicking restore and it'll just download that parameter set to that new drive. So that is a quick overview of the smart access module. Thank you.